We are finally here. Welcome to the last regular season game, but this isn't just any regular season game. It's gonna feel like a playoff game tonight because the team that loses this game is gonna be eliminated from the 2022 season. You guys have played a lot of teams very close. What's it gonna to take today to take down the Badgers who also have the same record as you, 0-4? Well, I think we're gonna to need to hit better than them, maybe even pitch better than them. And then at the end of the day, maybe even score more runs than them. And Reese, today you have your whole squad. We scheduled this game to make sure you have every single player on your roster. How are you personally gonna, gonna try to get, get it going at the plate? Drew can't pitch anymore, so Bobby's gotta step up. Um, Jesse needs to pitch like Jesse did in the first two games of the season. And then I need to hit. I haven't hit the whole season, so uh, just need to put the bat onto the ball. So the winner of this game is gonna move on to the wild card and play the Steamrollers. Biggest game of the year, Riptides Badgers. Who will win their first game of 2022? <laughs> here we go, two teams that are winless so far in 2022, but that will end here tonight. We will be home team. Riptides are the home team for the final regular season game of 2022. The starting pitcher for the Riptides here in the final game of the regular season is gonna be Jake Short. Yep. Jake's on the bump. I am mic'd up. Play the right side of second base. Drew Sappingfield, the leadoff batter for the Badgers in his rookie season. Here we go, first pitch. Winner of tonight's game will face the Steamrollers in the wild card. First pitch on the way, strike one. And a 4-2 count. The pitch, got him! Boom! You don't want it. Three. First at bat of the game is a strikeout. Hudson on the field is hyped and dancing now. Second batter for the Badgers, Reese Clapp. He's been struggling at the plate this year. <laughs> Reese is coming up now. This will be easy. First pitch starts him off down the middle. Oh, oh fastball curved in and hit him. No, I didn't. He did not go. In blitz ball, two hits is a walk, but maybe that one specifically should be a walk. I'm my votes it's a walk. <laughs> two and two count. Strike three. And coming up third for the Badgers, Matthew Griffith. All right, this is when it gets scary. This guy's pretty good. Strike one, that's a great pitch by Jake. Starts outside, goes inside. Is one strike away from sending this to the bottom of the inning, the pitch. Screwball, got Matthew Griffith to whiff at it. No! Three batters, three strikeouts. What a start to the game for the Riptides. Borgmeyer, Lukens, Josh, Jake. Starting pitcher for the Badgers, Bobby Bryan on the bump. And the leadoff batter for the Riptides here on the bottom of the first, their captain, Hudson Borgmeyer. First pitch, strike one. Blows it by Hudson. One and two. This is a big at bat. Their best hitters up. Strike three. Bobby sits down Hudson. Man. This is huge for other Riptides players to step up outside of Hudson. And that one is fouled off. One and one. Bobby to pump up the speed on this one. Strike three. Puts it right down the pipe. Freezes Matt Lukens. Two down. Well, that was sad. B. B. Oh. <laughs> Four one count. Four two. Two strike pitch to Josh Bradley. Strike three. Beautiful inning by Bobby. Six batters, six strikeouts so far in this game. Pitchers dominating so far. Coming in in the second inning. Riptide's captain, Hudson Borgmeyer. Inning number one was a pitcher's duel. We're gonna crowd the plate again. <laughs> Get way up here. <laughs> what a two-seamer. Oh, hits Jesse. That one hit him. Oh, hit the bat. You gotta be kidding me. That hit the bat. <laughs> hit the knob for strike two on the screwball by Hudson. The 4-2 pitch on the way. Screwball just tips the top. You're stupid. <laughs> Can't turn the camera off. <laughs> and Jesse had no shot of that one. That was bad. There we go, Drew. 
Oh, just fouled it back. Drew looked like he was all over that pitch. 5-1 pitch. Ball six, Drew will be the first base runner of the game. There you go. Drew will be on first base for the Badgers. Captain versus captain matchup coming up right here. Captain on captain matchup here. Oh, and that is foul. That would have been Reese's first homer of the season if you could have straightened that one out. That was good. <laughs> you had it, Reese. Great pitch, 4-2. Here's the full count pitch. Misses, runners on first and second with only one out. A base hit could possibly score a run now. Matthew Griffith has had success in this league at the plate. 3-0 count. Trips it into play. Hudson grabs it. And he pegged, but Drew's running home. 1-0. Run, run. Oh, go. <laughs> Drew's coming home and he's gonna score. Matthew Griffith pokes a ball down the first baseline, gets pegged out, and then Drew comes around and scores for the Badgers. Score 1-0 now. 1-0, MG puts the ball in play to get his team on the board. Runner on second with two outs. Strike one. What a pitch. Two strikes to Jesse. What a pitch, screwball. Strike three. Dude. <laughs> Hudson sits down Jesse, but a run does score for the Badgers. We have a 1-0 game going into the bottom of the second. In the second inning, Badgers are also making a pitching change. Jesse Spratt, Plunkett. The Badgers now playing with a one-run lead in this four-inning game. We're here in the bottom of the second. The full count. The pitch. Strike three. Bottom of the zone. Dial it up. Who's up? Is it, is it who's their main hitter? Hudson. 101, 4 2 count to Hudson. Swings at it, two outs. Hudson throws the bat. Badgers looking great so far. Oh, and the bat goes flying. 4 2. The Riptides have a problem with that this year. Josh did that last game. Here's the full count pitch. Foul tip. Popped up. Three straight foul balls. Here's the full count pitch. What a pitch by Jesse! From Jesse. Badgers looking gross on the mound tonight, freezing these riptide batters. We have a 1 0 game in favor of the Badgers. Here we go. First pitch of the top of the third. We're halfway through this one. Hudson remains on the mound for the riptides in the first pitch. Strike two. Oh, a knuckle drop lands. Oh my gosh, that was gross. What a pitch, knuckle ball. Oh, that one is fouled off the handle. The catch not made by Quinn. <laughs> Two strikes to Reese Clapp. Strike three. Hudson sticking with the screwball and it's working for him. Around the horse? Ah, okay. Never mind. Two straight strikeouts here in the top of the third. MG. Guys, MG, most underrated player in Blitzball. Dude can hit, like, really good. Two-seamer. 3-2. Two. two strikes to Matthew Griffin. Matthew Griffith of Hudson Borgmeyer. 2 0 ball game for the Badgers. Oh, and that is laced Homer. Matthew Griffith with a solo shot to left. Jeez. Oh. That'll extend the lead to two for the Badgers. And this is why Reese picked up Matthew Griffith last offseason. Comes up clutch here tonight. 2-0 now the score. Jeez, guys, we got a hit. It's literally me. 
I swear. Every time I'm on this freaking thing. What a pitch. This might have to be my last mic'd up appearance because nothing good happens when I'm on this thing. It just never goes well. Hudson, one strike away from sending this to the bottom of the inning. The pitch. Strike three. We are going into the bottom of the third, but Matthew Griffith extends the lead for the Badgers. If the Riptides can't pull this one off, Hudson will lose every single game in his first year as a captain. Returning into the ball game for the Badgers, Bobby Bryan here in the bottom of the third inning. Okay, what's gonna what's gonna happen here, Connor? Bobby's gonna do exactly what, what he did and strike out all three of you. <laughs> the Riptides are gonna get two more cracks at it. They want to stay alive. They need to do it right now. Great pitch. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on a low fastball. Bobby is looking good. Swing and a miss on a low fastball. Jeez. What's most hard? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be Bobby's best pitching performance to date. Velo looking way up tonight. You know how bad I've gotten, like, the more I've played this game? <laughs> that one did hit him. That one did hit him second hit of the at bat. Oh, we got something brewing here. And a home run would tie this ball game up. The tying run now at the plate. Three one count. Three two. And year, and that is not gonna quite get the fence. Reese is gonna field it in left at third base. And catch it for the second out of the inning. Hudson just missed that one, caught the handle with a runner on first for Matt Lukens. Strike one. The 0 2 pitch on the way from Bobby with two down. Fouled off. Oh, foul off. Foul off. Contact, wow. I wouldn't know anything about the contact. Matt's been fouling off a lot of pitches, has yet to put one in play. Two strike pitch. Strike three! Bobby gets out of the inning. What an inning. One more inning. If the Badgers can hold off this inning, they will advance to the wild card game. Bobby and his night will be over on the mound unless this goes to extras. The final scheduled inning of this one, Jake Short on the mound for the Riptides. Riptides final chance this inning to win a game this year. Ground ball to the left side, and that will not be fielded cleanly. Drew Sappingfield will have a single. Runner on first with nobody out as the Badgers try to add to their lead. Runner on first, zero outs. Reese up to the plate looking for his first home run of the year. Foul ball. Oh, another foul tip. Crowd is getting hype. Hey, let's go. Swings and chases at a low screwball. One out. Three, two count. Swings at a low one. Ah, that was way too low. <laughs> two outs now. Final chance to add some more runs will be up to Jesse. You see, you hit one home run, and then you think you're, like, you're the best in the world, and then you just swing at everything. Two outs, runner on first. The first pitch, strike one. Starts behind Jesse. Strike two. Jake can send it to the bottom of the inning with a strike here. And that is poked to the left side. Bobby will be safe at second. He's on the way to third. And Bobby will stop there. Badgers have runners on the corners with two out and Drew at the plate. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, put in play. <laughs> Jesse pokes it to the left side just as he's been doing all year. Runners on the corners. Strike three. We cut. Hey, it's fine. The Riptides keep this a two run game. Badgers strand runners on the corners. But the season all comes down to this. Riptides going to have to score two here in the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth. Jesse in to close it out for the Badgers and send them to the wild card.
All right, there's no way we blow this. Can the Reptides end their hitting struggles and their final chance? Strike one. Two strikes to Josh Bradley. Strike three. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's go. Screwball hits the bottom pipe. Reptides down to the final two outs of their whole season. Riptides need a base runner. Home run wouldn't do them much good. They'd still be down a run. Oh, wow. That one literally, he took that in the side of the face. <laughs> Ball one. Three, two, great pitch. Two strikes to Jake. Could be Jake's final at bat of the season. It's the bottom of the strike zone. Three strikes. Let's go, one more. Come on. Hey, I don't know what it's like to be winning. It's crazy. Comes down to Hudson Borgmeyer, captain of the Reptiles. Can he win his first game as a captain or finish as the first season not winning one game? Could be the final at bat for the Reptiles in season one of their franchise. The first pitch, strike. Can the Badgers advance to the wild card round against the Steamrollers? Screwball fouled off. Two quick strikes, 0-2 the count. You're way ahead, let's go. One strike away from the Badgers, advancing to the playoffs. One single strike away, the pitch on the way. Did go around. Yeah, he took it. Strike three. Hudson chucks the bat, finishes the season 0-5. The Badgers take the W. Let's go. <laughs> I love team. <laughs> and they win their first game of the year and advance to the wild card game against the Steamrollers. I love team. What team? <laughs> oh, we needed that so bad. <laughs> Pitched really well. Yeah. Wow, well, Quinn, you lost. Yeah, you know, tough loss. We'll get him next year. <laughs> yeah, we got the first pick, though. <laughs> The regular season has come to a close, and the Badgers squeeze away with that win 2-0. Talk about that game, and y your team just pitched amazing in that game. You didn't even have to pitch. Bobby was incredible. He, I, I've never ever seen Bobby pitch that well in my life. And he just put on a clinic. And then Jesse did really good on the mound. This is the best he's done since probably the first two games in the season. So like I said in the pregame interview, we need them to pitch, and they, they pitched. So. My hitting not being good, uh, the team picked it up, and even Jesse got a hit, so. I had foul balls. I had <laughs> foul balls. <laughs> so, you will be playing the Steamrollers in the wild card. Any early predictions for that game? Well, uh, knowing Joey's arm case scenario, um, it'll be interesting to see what we can do against like a 50% Joey. Obviously, Matt's gonna be Matt, but with everybody else, it'll be interesting for sure. All right, disappointing loss for the Riptides. Your guys' season is over. You finish 0-5. Any words to kind of gloss over the season as a whole? Um, it was definitely a rough season, but we're going to have the first pick, and I'm excited about that. Jake, any thoughts? And who knows, do you think you'll even be on the team next season? Uh, well, that I have no idea. You know, there's no telling what could happen. You know, We're going to have the draft, so it really depends on how people in draft do. Free agency, you know, you never know. But the season was disappointing, you know, obviously. But uh, there's always next year, and if I am on the team, you know, hopefully – pull something off and really get it going. Uh, but first win, I'm sure we'll be coming next season. Hey, wait, wait. Can I apply to be a PO next year? All right, the playoff matchups are set. Badgers, Steamrollers in the wild card. The winner of that wild card game will go on to play the number one seed, Mustangs. And then the other semifinal game will be Redbirds versus Crushers. Postseason coming soon, but coming next is going to be All-Star Weekend, Home Run Derby, All-Star Game, coming your way soon. And then final announcement, the Columns Classic is coming to Columbia, Missouri. October 15th, we're gonna be at this exact field. 16 teams, make sure to sign up your team quick. Spots are going fast. All of us Como guys are gonna be there. So make sure to sign up your teams now at playpass.com slash blitzball. We'll see you there at the Columns Classic. Sign up now and we'll see you in the next video. Kiss, 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 kiss. Ah. <laughs>